What's good, y'all? It's your boy A Rock here, and this video is going to be more different because what I'm going to be telling you is about a conspiracy that I'm going to be explaining. For those of you that you do not want to have your childhood ruined, I suggest that you turn off this video right now. Go ahead, I'll give you like five seconds. Still here? Alright, let's get started. Willy Wonka, the amazing chocolatier, invites five kids with a golden ticket along with their parents into a chocolate factory that he had made himself. But what if those kids and parents are actually about to become victims for Willy Wonka as he could be a serial killer? Okay, so Willy Wonka sends out golden tickets on into certain countries. Augustus Gloop, who is found in Germany, Violet Beauregard and Mike TV in the United States, Baruch Assault and Charlie Bucket in the United Kingdom. <clears throat> now, once they find those golden tickets, they end up going to the factory. Inside, they go in there and they see, uh, well, they see a whole bunch of crazy stuff. They see a whole place that you can eat. And believe me, I am not talking about the Tim Burton movie that from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I am talking about the old Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory movie. 1970s Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And, like, in the movie, there's actually coat hangers that are actually live hands. But what if those hands were actually of Willy Wonka's past serial killers? Or maybe it was his victims that he previously had in the factory. And later on, in the, sh in the showing in the movie, they show all the kids' end games. And what if, he, what if he actually killed all of his kids that were put into the factory? Okay, so here's how I see, in my point of view. Augustus Gloop, the first to go in his end game goes up the pipe, ends up getting suffocated in there, and then gets boiled in chocolate. And apparently his mother sees it, his mother finds him boiled up in chocolate, and Oompa Loompa ends up throwing her in there with him. That's what I'm thinking, though. This is, this is actually what I'm thinking. Violet Beauregard, in this, the second one to go, ends up getting turned into a blueberry while eating the three-course meal. It was her own fault that she had ended up eating that, not theirs. It was her fault, and Willy Wonka didn't even stop them. Willy Wonka never even think about stopping them. He just stood there, not doing nothing. <clears throat> anyways, moving. <clears throat> anyways, moving on. So, Violet Beauregard ended up turning to a blueberry. The Oompa Loompas carried, rolled her around to the juicing room. With but, what if she never made it though? What if she never made it at all, and they let her explode, and her intestines were all over the place? Her father, her father witnesses that, and they end up killing him, too. Veruca Salt now. She acted like a spoiled little bitch, and then she ends up going on a rampage, ends up going into the chute, and because she was a bad egg. We all know that she... Okay, we all know Veruca Salt was a spoiled little bitch. You know it, and even I know it. Her father ends up going in after her in the garbage chute. They, he explain, Willy Wonka explains to him that she goes down the garbage chute and soon might be incinerated as well. And her father ends, and then Veruca's father ends up going down after her. Sure enough, <sighs> incineration. The worst kind of death. Excuse me. Mike TV. He's obsessed with TV and... He ends up getting flashed onto some giant camera thing in the television room. Ends up going down, ends up having to shrink down to the size of, well, my thumb. And they ended up taking him, along with his mother, to the Tappy Puller, right? You're going along with me on this. And they end up getting mashed up, in, into like their insides get ruptured inside or, and split in half. That's what I'm thinking, though. Ends up putting them both in there. Rips them apart. Charlie Bucket sees that, and he sees all the decapitated bodies that were ended up killed. He goes back, kills Wonka, 
all this, all those people have been avenged by their deaths. Charlie Bucket kills them. Kills Willy Wonka, I mean. Sorry. <clears throat> they Charlie Bucket kills Willy Wonka, and that would be a big conspiracy. That... Well, how it holds up, though. In in a scene where they showed an article on... In an article online, they show a Wonka Tania boat in the 1970s Willy Wonka movie, and it only shows only seats for, like, two, four, six, eight, and not enough seats, because Willy Wonka knew what was going to happen. He said, in one scene, he said, help, police. Murder. He knew what was going to happen before it happens. He, he knew Augustus Gloop was going to end up getting killed. He knew that him and his mother were going to end up being gone. And then took the Wonkatania boat and just shoves off. <clears throat> In another scene with the Wonka Wash later on, it showed only up to four seats. For Charlie, his grandpa, Mike, and his mom. And there wasn't any room for the other kids, too. What if he actually planned all of this out? What if Willy Wonka actually did... Act, what if he actually did met, plan on killing off those kids one by one? You know, why am I saying what if? Yeah, we all know he was going to end up doing it anyway. Okay. When I read an article about how on the writer of the book, of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Road Dahl, he actually wanted to actually he wanted to kill off the kids in the books and bring them to and then like bring them back in the end, seeing how they ended up resulting on what their end games were. But they all made it out okay in the book. But in the movie, they never we never saw them. He we they were probably ended up dead or worse. So on this conspiracy rate of this Willy Wonka murder theory, I would have to give this. Four Wonka bars out of five. But that's what I'm thinking. If you guys think that I missed out on something or if I left anything out, just leave your, just leave some um, comments in there below and I'll see what I missed. Thank you guys so much for listening in and hopefully I didn't ruin your childhoods. So that's my conspiracy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Latest. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, bye.